Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is the 2nd of December. We're on the countdown. Where, oh where has the year gone? Ah, we are downstairs with dueling sliding boards for these guys because they are so active. I thought I'm gonna put both of them in here today. Uh, this is Dory's kids. Dory's kids just had their spa bath. They've had their toenails trimmed. Um, they've had their lunch and their snack, and now it's playtime. So, oh yeah, there goes the carpet fuzz. Um, they're doing super good. I wish we could have done this outdoors, but it isn't going to happen today. I don't have enough to sit out there in the wind. <laughs> we live on a hill. That's why it's called Windy Hill, and it is windy. Um, these guys are doing super good. I went ahead, Vanessa, this is her first day back, so you know normally our videos on are on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And uh, so, of course, this week we're way behind because Vanessa's been out with the stomach flu that she caught at Thanksgiving with her family. Isn't that nice? I'm so glad that I was at church on Sunday when she was here and she got really sick and started to throw up and went home and then... Last night, she came in for a little while just to help out um, to get some of the baby videos shot. And she's actually here all day today, but because we're so far behind, um, I've been carrying puppies up and down to do videos while she does kennel. So you can tell from the activity level on these guys, they are busy. So they are completely weaned, been away from mom for a good week. Um... Dory had had it, and you can imagine with the activity that they are, yeah, mom, moms are going, uh, can you take them now, please? So they've been in the house with us. They've been doing really good. I can't believe no one has gone through the slides yet. That's crazy. Um, if Vanessa was down here, I'd get in there and put a couple of them through the slides so they know they could go. They've been in them before, so it's like I guess they're using them to chase each other around and play keep away i says wait a minute where did they go oh she's oh there's somebody thinking about it i wonder if they're gonna come on through are you coming she says, no i chickened out that's so funny i figured for sure they'd go crazy with these things in here today they're thinking they're got they gotta inspect them again Ah, oh, they are completely on dry dog food. Uh, they've been getting cottage cheese in the morning. A lot of people ask me, why in the world do I feed cottage cheese? Well, partially because I keep Walmart in business. So my tip to you, and oh dear, don't tell me I got to clean up. I do. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this, guys. I think I, I don't think I can stop the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak around here, and I am going to move this cage over top of this so nobody steps in it there we go until i can get some paper towels bend over and clean up that deposit <clears throat> they weren't supposed to do this when i got down here i talked to them about this <clears throat> um okay i totally lost my train of thought when i saw that puppy go in the bathroom anyway i don't know isn't that awful i'll tell you with us still getting over i'm still getting over the cold that we caught from jerusalem on the way home and i still sound like edith ann in my own head but um i finally got broke down and got antibiotics from the doctor so i'm i'm on the men's um i don't know it's gone whatever i was telling you is literally gone it's a senior moment <clears throat> fog fog brain with this cold um, okay, so I told you they got a bath, told you they got their toenails done, and I don't know, I'm just gone. Um, I know many of you are coming soon, I know we've got our first one going home on Saturday, and, um, so when you come up my driveway, let me get that out of the way first, come clear around behind my house, turn to the right as you go behind our home, come clear over and park under the oak tree. Then look to your right. The puppies are in that door um, at the back of the house that has the pots still on the, the approach way to the door. And uh, it's the smaller door. There's a big 16-foot door on the back and a 10-foot door. So park over by the oak tree and just come over. We should hear you come in anyway with the driveway alarm. 
and uh, but the puppies are right in there with us so uh, you can come in there and please when you come in please don't use a baby voice uh, I'm starting to have to tell people that again because they walk in the door and they go oh look at the puppies and then these guys go nuts and they start to bark so that's the neon pink color thinking about going through there I just cannot believe no one has gone through it this is the first litter I've had that has not utilize these to play in um <clears throat> also when you come uh, please don't go over and pet the puppies i've had parvo brought in here twice uh not recently it's been several years but i have become very studious about nobody petting the puppies i'll take your puppy out of the pen that the puppies are in and hand it to you and then once we do that that puppy cannot go back in the kennel where the other puppies were so I have a single kennel. Oh, look what they're doing to my carpet. <laughs> they won't do this at your house. They really won't. You're yeah, right. Uh, and if I had a fly swatter down here, right now I'd swat them. That usually works too when I make a, a squeak noise other than it gets their attention too much sometimes. Uh, but I got news for you. Fringy carpets are always a great source of fun. Um, and the other thing is don't let these guys do anything you don't want them to do when they're little just because it's cute, because you will regret it, deeply regret it later. So yeah, this would be a no, a no chew, and I would swat them with a swatter. <clears throat> um, I probably am gonna reach over and take that away from him. So, uh, but please, I know it's so tempting to go over and pet the puppies, but please don't. Um, it just keeps other people's dogs safe in case you happen to bring something in. Your shoes at home are another source that you can bring Parvo in. Oh, there's somebody going through. Oh, changed his mind. Um, Parvo is something that you can carry in on your shoes. If a dog goes to the bathroom and they're carrying the Parvo virus in their system and you step in it and don't see feces, that feces could have been there from four months ago and you still track it home. Um, it's not something I like to scare people to death about, but please, please note, it is very, very possible for you to bring it home. Don't take your dogs to visit other people. Don't walk it around your neighborhood at the time you go, um, when you go home. You want to hit that 16 to 18 week mark. Whenever your vet has you finish your last shot, <clears throat> excuse me, that is when you are usually much, much safer and you can go out and socialize. Um, so I sent everybody's videos out from this litter. If you did not get it, please text me, give me a current email address, and I will send it back out to you again. You should have gotten two separate emails from me. One that has your puppy go home videos on it, which are not the videos I've been posting on YouTube. It's a private um, group of videos that tells you everything I would tell you if you were coming to pick up your puppy. So that way you can bring your questions with you that I didn't answer on those videos and we can chat about whatever you want to know. Um, I would have a crate ready. Um, if you do not have crates at home, we do have 36 inch crates here available. Our crates are $39 and it's a double door crate. You have a door on the side and a door on the back but I only carry 36 inch crates anymore. I don't carry the bigger ones since we don't do the great big dogs. But um, I do have crates here if you are interested and don't have one. Please don't go buy a small crate because you think your puppy is gonna be small. Still get a 39 inch or 36 inch crate because yes, they're gonna potty in that crate. And no, they're not gonna wait and hold it till you get home. They will eventually, but when you take this puppy home, this is like taking home a foster child that's scared to death of you. It doesn't know you, your habits, your house. And um, so you really, really need to give that puppy a grace period of about two to two and a half weeks to learn your uh, schedule, your sleep time, your awake time. Do not change your schedule for this dog. Do not treat it like a baby. You will regret it. Uh, the dog needs to spend 50% of its day in the crate. So that means about every hour, hour and a half, you're out the door. Uh, you play with them in the yard. You wear them out. You let them chase things. And then you bring them in and you put them back in their crate. Um, and then you do not sleep with this dog in your bedroom. That is a huge no-no. 
Everybody says, oh, we got the crate by our bed and the baby will be safe that way and know we're there. I don't sleep with these dogs. These dogs sleep in my garage. Um, even when I go ahead, when I retire and raise a puppy, it will not sleep in my bedroom. Um, the, you don't want your dog to become dependent on you. That's a really bad thing to do. Uh, because if you're all of a sudden change your schedule and you're gone for the day, uh, the dog will scream all day long. And if you live in a gated neighborhood or a condo or apartment building, you're going to get warnings and fines if you don't get the dog to stop it. So let the dog learn to sleep in its own crate. It does not have to be by you to sleep and be a good puppy. Um, when it's in its crate, that's its time out. Don't talk to that dog when it's in its crate. Don't sit and stare at it when it's in its crate. Ignore it. It's like they're not, they're not there. These puppies are totally used to that because when we're in the house or in the garage grooming, we don't talk to them. We don't pick them up. Um, if I want to get them out and do something with them, sure, I pick them up then. I talk to them. I love on them. But when they're in their crate, it's their timeout area, and we don't... Uh, we're really strict about it here, and it really works out great. So they learn that they can be okay on their own. They don't have to have somebody with them 24-7. Um, oh, I'm going to try and reach in here, which is probably a bad thing. You want to get the rope out. So if you get a rope, now they haven't seen this rope before, but if you take a rope and you tie it on their kennel and let it hang down, they will play tug-of-war with that rope forever. Um, two days later, they're going to be bored with it. So then take the rope down, put it somewhere, uh, in their toy box and get it out in another week or so. So scheduling their toys and mixing them up is a wonderful thing to do. Um, I do not buy any new toys except baby toys. I get all of my stuffed animals. The stuffed animal that you're going home with, I get from Goodwill. Um, I buy everything from Goodwill as far as toys. I bring them all home, wash them in hot water, run them through the dryer, and it's the best toys out there. Or talk to a friend that's got lots of little kids. Ask them if they're getting ready to clean out their closet and get rid of their toys. I don't use beanie bags or beanie babies. It's not that the beanie baby beans will hurt the puppies, but they'll get them all over your house. So um, I don't do beanie babies at all. So there's a lot of really cool toys out there that you can get that you don't have to spend more than a dollar to two dollars for a piece. And when they ruin it, if they do, throw it away. But I have lots of dogs that go home. Because they've played with stuffed toys all the time when they're little, they have a tendency not to tear them up. So, um, and I only buy the really good quality toys. Isn't that funny? Nobody, oh, there we go. Yay, the yellow collar puppy finally went through. First time. Unless I missed somebody before that. But yeah, that's the first time anybody's gone through there. They're just using them to run around. That one's trying to shove its way underneath. Outdoors, they can get underneath because they can see underneath of it. But it can't get its... Can't figure out... Oh, it's going on that side. Nope, changed its mind. They can't figure out why they can't get under it. Um, you're going home with your complete shot record that they have had here. They have had... Um, their first set of puppy shots, they will not get their second shot until nine weeks here, if the puppy's still here at nine weeks. Um, we do ours every 21 to 28 days. Some veterinarians don't do it except for every 28 days, but we do ours every 21, and the schedule is 21 to 28, so any time in that period, you're good. That is so funny. That one went halfway up in there and then turned around. Oh, they're back on the baby toys. This one's just going in. Oh, found the carpet. I, they haven't bothered that one without the fringe. And I like the other kind with the rubber bottoms like that because they lay right back down when they let go. The fringes kind of stick up and they're like, oh, this one says, oh, I'll get you. That's so funny. I also have still been, I always feed free choice. So that's another thing if you have questions about, um, I do not feed on the schedule. These dogs eat 24 hours a day whenever they want. It's always in front of them. They all eat together. Nobody argues. They never nip at your hands if you go to reach for something. So um, if you have questions about free choice and you would like to know more when you come, 
your dog will never overeat that way and it will not get fat because they'll never eat more than they need for the time that they're eating. So which is nice. Don't you wish we all could eat that way? All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I've got another video to do this afternoon and you guys were on my list for today. So, um, I have a saying for you that comes from, um, Oh, I can't think of Marsha's last name. And anyway, so my saying for the day is you may not be responsible for a situation, but you are surely responsible for your reaction. So I hope you think about that the next time something comes up that it's not worth blowing up about or telling someone else about. It's something to possibly you just keep to yourself and you don't, don't spread it. So I hope you have a blessed weekend. I hope you have a wonderful, safe weekend. I hope you've enjoyed their videos. This is their last video. Uh, I've tried to make it a little bit longer than normal and let you watch them play. Oh, you're kidding. We're going to come through. Nope, changed your mind. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's so funny. That's the orange collar one, I think, in there. Thinking about coming through there. That is just so funny that... No, okay, now we're face-to-face. -face. Are you coming? Nope. I'll have to tell okay. Vanessa. She won't believe that. Usually this thing, is they play with these things like crazy. I should have left maybe uh, just put one of them down here instead of both of them. There I go thinking what they're going to do, huh? All right. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later. We'll see many of you soon.